Yeah, g'day guys, welcome to another episode of Shanky Garage. In this episode, we're gonna weld in the cow section and then do some final repairs on the cab and prep it ready for some epoxy primer. So we'll jump straight into the video, hope you enjoy. Okay, so today's episode, we're gonna get stuck back into the cabin and get it all ready to give it a final coat of epoxy primer. So it's already had one coat of epoxy from the sandblaster, but since it's been sandblasted, found more um, repairs that will need to be done. So I'll have to open up a few areas. So this section here, um, these holes will need to be welded and I'll have to cut this section out and put a patch in there. Just down here, this is all pretty deep. So if I put body filler in there, it's gonna be pretty thick. So I'm gonna have to try and see what I can do there to fix that. Um, along the windscreen here, there's just that little area that will need cutting out, so that's pretty straightforward. Same thing on this other side here as well. Dodgy repairs that I'll have to cut that out and weld a new piece in there. I'm gonna weld this cow back on, so I've got this to, to weld in. And then also I'm gonna have to seam seal up everything. I've just taken all the old seam sealer out so the sandblaster didn't get all the seam sealer out. So that's, you know, I've taken all that out. I've also taken all this, there's a heap of glue left behind as well that the sandblaster didn't get. So I just uh, wire wheeled all that glue off. So yeah, so just gonna get it all ready. Got some um, little sort of body filler repairs like dents here and I'm gonna put body filler all over this section here. Um, so yeah, just get it basically all ready to give it one final coat of epoxy and then I shouldn't have to open it up ever again. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is just apply some body filler to this section of the roof on both sides where I've shaved the gutters. So because it is quite a large area um, where there's gonna be a little bit of body filler, I'm just gonna let it set for a good you know, 24 hours before sending the back. That way I know there's gonna be no more shrinkage over time um before i sand it all back so if you apply body filler and then sand it back within an hour you might get it spot on but it can still shrink over time so to get around that is just leave the the body filler to set for longer so i've just gone over this section with some 180 grit sandpaper just to scuff it up just so the body filler sticks to it a lot better and i've also just gone over just with some wax and grease remover to give it a nice clean surface for the body filler Okay, so just with this cow section, I just need to bend up this piece here just to match this angle. It's pretty close, but it just needs a bit of a tweak. So in one of the previous episodes, I had to make up all this new section here because uh, it was all rusted. So yeah, it's pretty close, so pretty happy with it. But yeah, just I'll tweak that. Also, I'll go around and start marking out where all the spot welds are gonna go. And then I can start drilling all the spot welds into the cow section. Okay, so my angles were a little bit out, so I just had to adjust that. Also just had to cut that little section out here, just to allow this to slot into just here. So this little bit here drops down a bit. So yeah, I had to cut that little bit out and then just adjust the angle with some moldy grip. So yeah, wasn't too bad at all. So it sits in there pretty nicely now. Okay, so that is all the holes drilled in the cow. So there is plenty of them all the way around. So also what I've done is just taken the cab back to bare metal where the spot welds are gonna be welded. So just along here, all along here and then here. And then also what I'm gonna do is just spray this cold gow. So this is like a weld through primer. That's gonna protect this bare metal and then also allow me to, to weld through the primer into the metal. So I'll spray that cold gear on the bare metal and then also I'll spray it on the back side of this cow just where I've cleaned up the holes from the drill bit. 
Okay, so that weld through primer is sprayed on the bare metal. So what I'm gonna do now is just paint the inside of the plenum section. I'm just gonna use a KBS and I think I'm just gonna brush it on. It's just gonna be a hell of a lot easier brushing it on rather than get the gun out and masking up and all that. So the brush on, is a pretty good finish it is a self leveling so with the plenum section you're not really going to see in it anyway so i think brushing it on will be fine so first off i'm going to just seam seal all this area here and also just here just to protect you know any um, potential seepage in there um, i've also just gone over the plenum just with 150 grit sandpaper just to rough it up to apply the kbs So for the seam sealer, I'm just using this Sikaflex 527AT. So this is designed for the automotive industry. So it lays on pretty easily and is easily spreadable as well. So yeah, pretty good stuff. So also I've just put some masking tape all around here. So she's pretty much all ready to start brushing on the KBS. <laughs> So that is the KBS applied. It's not the best coating ever, but for brush on job, it's pretty good and you're not really gonna see in there anyway once the cow's on the top. It is still a little bit glossy, but that should start to go into more of a satin once it dries further. So yeah, she's pretty much ready. I'll put the cow on the top once she's dry and start welding that on. So I've just let this dry overnight, checked it this morning, and I've noticed that it's definitely glossy, this paint, so that's pretty bloody shiny to me. If you compare it to the satin from underneath here, there's yeah, not much shine there on that satin, so yeah, that's definitely gloss. So I just checked this tin, and it definitely is satin black, so it's just yeah, labelled up wrong which is no biggie, I'm not concerned about it. Like you're never gonna see in there, but it's just something to be aware of, I suppose, when you are, when you buy a brand new tin, just do like a practice, a few practice strokes and let it dry before, before you paint, I suppose. Cause yeah, if you was planning on painting your chassis in like a satin and you end, end up painting the whole thing in gloss, I suppose. So just, yeah, something to be aware of. So I've just got the cow section sitting in, just a heap of clamps holding that in place. So all the alignment seems pretty good. Everything is hard up and flush for some good spot welds. So I've just used this clamp here to pull this side uh, in closer to the firewall. So there was quite a larger gap compared to the other side here. So now that is pulled in and now it's all pretty even on both sides, this gap here. So yeah, all looks good. So I'll start spot welding it all together. Okay, so that is all the cow section welded in. So I'm just gonna leave all them spot welds like that and I'll grind them all back once I'm ready to epoxy over it. Okay, so all this body filler is all dried. So I'll start filing it back with the body file. So this here is just one I got off eBay. It's adjustable so you can wind this in and out and it adjusts the curve or you can make it straight or flat so yeah it's pretty handy just to take the top off of the um the body filler so i'll start doing that and then i'll start sanding it back with a block um just with some 80 grit Okay, so that is all rubbed back, so not too bad. There's obviously some holes and stuff in here still, so I'll have to put a second layer 
over the top and then rub it all back and then see what it looks like after that. You can get a fine, real fine uh, body filler to fill in little tiny holes and stuff. So once I put this second layer on and then sand it back, I'll have a look and see if I need to get some of the uh, real fine stuff from then on. Okay, so I might start doing these patches on the windscreen here. So I've just marked out roughly where I'm gonna cut there. So you can also see that this is where the windscreen molding clips uh, clip onto, just that screw there. So I'll have to replace that once I weld in a new patch. So I've just marked roughly where that's gonna go. And I've also just ordered some of these um, screen clip kits. So that's got the little screws so I can just replace them screws um, once I put the patches in. So that is the windscreen all done. I've just sprayed a bit of uh, etch primer over the top just to protect the steel for now. I will take that etch primer off when it comes time to epoxy. And I've also just put in some new screws for the uh, trim clips. So yeah, the windscreen, that's all done now. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm just going to call it for this video today. So I was planning on coating with epoxy, but I've probably got enough footage there to make that as one episode, what I've done already. And then I'll make a second episode just with the last of the repairs and then finally coating with the epoxy. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button below. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button below as well. Uh, I'll also leave a card up in this corner of the playlist for the HX1 Tunner. So if you haven't seen any of the previous videos of the HX1 Tunner, then yeah, hit that um, card up here and you can binge watch from the very first episode all the way to the last. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Shanky Garage. Cheers.